Hey, what's up, Wolf Frank community? Back again with another video, and this one is on update 14.0. And yes, it looks awesome. This is not destiny, but this has a destiny. This is not Star Wars, but it is Tenno fighting amongst the stars. And a war is definitely in place against the Grenier, the Corpus, and the infestation that takes effect on certain planets. Update 14.0 has not disappointed. Is it different? Yes. But there's not really any disappointments. You say, Joshua, why do you say that for? Well, I say that because about a year ago, I featured this game on my channel. And after featuring this game on my channel, I decided to dedicate myself to playing a game that was built upon detail and listening to the audience. The actual players, receiving feedback, and I felt a difference in this game, not only because it was out of space ninjas, but the concept alone drew me in. The beginning of the game drew me in. It gave me a story about a particular type of race that was trying to be put out or taken over by the Grenier. And so, it gives you the opportunity to play hero and to help save a dying race. Well, this game Warframe has continued to do that and not disappoint. I've been playing this game for, like I said, for about a year or more. And I tell you, each update, it seems as though things have gotten better and better and even when things seem to sort of go south with the feedback from the community those things change with updates hot fixes you name it you get a chance to see the development team on live stream two times a week sometimes once a week but they communicate with the community there aren't many game developers who do that. I mean, get a look at this weapon here, the Silver and the Aegis. Here's a weapon that was designed and built by someone by the name of Silver Bones. I believe his channel is red, he's called himself the Red Coat Something. Now I should know that, but I'm doing this video live. If you guys don't know, this guy took an idea. They've incorporated it into the game. I think it's an awesome shield. I think it's an awesome sword. That's what I'm talking about. You're not going to get that in a lot of games. Some of the developers may look at the forums, get an idea of what the people are saying, but really, most don't have a voice. In this game, you have a voice. You can speak out, and they listen, and they make adjustments. But with that said, along with update 14 came a new character by the name of Mirage. And as you can see, four special abilities, Hall of Mirrors, Sleight of Hand, Eclipse, and Prism. I'm enjoying this frame. A little squishy, but minus the squishiness, I'm liking this frame. The Hall of Mirrors allows you to duplicate yourself. And that's different. That's a unique thing. Sleight of Hand will allow you to be just that, the prankster. You can make booby trap nearby objects. And that is something unique that I like to do. Something different from out of all the frames. The Eclipse. Well, the Eclipse allows you to deal a certain amount of damage when you're in the shadows. And it's more difficult to track you when you're in the shadows. So, it has an advantage. Prism. Uh, fires and energy. Prism that shoots laser and all the rest. And I really love this, this particular um, special ability. I like this particular special ability. And so I'm looking forward to really using this quite often and maximizing this, which blinds your targets. 
Sort of reminds me of Excalibur. One of his special abilities. The Oxani. Good weapon. I like them. They have a um, magazine clip size of 100. And you find yourself just shooting away and really having fun with this weapon. I really like this weapon. It is it's awesome. And I think this will be one of the weapons that I also will form a being that let's get a look at it here has one polarity slot a dash that's fine with me it doesn't have a have to have a ton of polarities in it to not make it a decent weapon but I'll probably take this weapon and form it and make it out to be a special weapon as I did also with a few others that I just recently formed the silver and the Aegis, I like this what I do like about it is the 11th storm Looking forward to using this here and playing, having fun with this third fusion, Bide and Bleed. Should be fun. Well, enough talking. Let's take a look around the ship. As we have here the foundry, I like that. Right in your face. I mean, you don't have to squint your eyes to look at it, but it is here in your face. You're looking at it. You click on it. Are you sure you want to build it? Sure, I want to build it, but not right now. Here we have weapons. And I like to look at that. That smooth transition is awesome. Makes a difference. The smooth transition. And so I like this also. Nice change. Let's take a look at him. Look, oh wow. He, he wants to play. Alright. Okay, come on. Come on over here. I like the fact that they incorporated this also. Allows you to find these pets as, as, the, as an egg. You just don't find the pet, but as an egg. And the concept is to grow it, to nurture it. And it's like having a pet animal. I mean, it really is a pet animal. You can take him out, and he's going to be ferocious. Actually, I have him, which I named him Mau Mau. <laughs> yeah, you can laugh. But I also have one in the status chamber. I'm gonna put Mau Mau in the status chamber right now. And then we're gonna take out the other. And her name is <laughs> Mimi. <laughs> yeah. Now come on. Awesome concept, right? They're growing. I'll be using them here soon. Let me give her a pet. Yeah, it's gonna be okay. We're gonna take care of some Grenier and Corpus real soon. And we have here the modifications. Yes, the modification. Ah, uh, let's do a quick transmute. Look at the look at that. That is great. I mean, come on. Let's take his here. Let's put four of them together and see what we get. All right, we gotta expel infested, and that's what we're gonna need to do. Expel a bunch of infested. So look forward to using that mod also. All right, we go up in the ship here. We have the market. Awesome. Kudos. Let's get a load of that. The warframes. I mean, come on, look at that. So quick, so responsive. This is awesome. And what we have is the Codex. They have also incorporated a new quest system, which is pretty grandeur. I like that. And the reason why, because it allows us to explore and go on missions, which they can create more quest missions. Sort of take out the repetitiveness, especially for a lot of the veteran players. But I will say this. When I first seen this ship, I was just... Amaze. I mean, you can sit in here for at least an hour and just gaze at everything. <laughs> I mean, come on. Look at that. Well, I'll tell you what. This video is going to be a tad bit long, but it deserves to be long because this was a long anticipated update 14 for everyone. And let's go in on Earth. And how about let's do a um, Dark Sector defense mission and see how things go. Now look at that. I like that. It actually projects you to another planet. You have the opportunity to see it. More personalized. A 
our position has been compromised. Defend the cargo until reinforcements arrive. Like I said, I'm really enjoying this sword and board weapon here. It is awesome. Look at that. I mean, come on. Actually taking the shield and throwing it. Sort of like the Sakaris. The Sakaris. Alrighty. Look at that. See how that opens? Come on. Awesome design. Awesome, awesome. Well, let's have an awesome time on some infestation. Let's get them riled up. Oh, okay. I like the stump action. It's, it's very aggressive. It doesn't look mediocre. It looks like it's an aggressive slam. And I like that aggressive slam with the fire kicking out on it. And overall, I'm liking this concept, but I must tell you guys. <laughs> the Oxanis, just get a load of these. Look at that. I mean, can you ever get tired of using these? Really? And I believe I have 140 in the clip on these here. So, I'm definitely enjoying them. As for the Warframe, I like the Mirage. For some, it may not suit everyone, being that she's a bit squishy. But that can be fixed with some shields and then some health. And with a proper team, you should be okay. Even by yourself, you should be okay. Because with special abilities... Like this. Look at that. That's that blinding light, as you can see. It just ricochets and goes different places. And it puts out a line. So I like it. But what is very fun is the Mirage. <laughs> that is the Mirage. The Hall of Mirrors. <laughs> Hard to beat that. Well, I wanted to bring you guys a quick video on my take on the new update, the new changes. I'm liking it all. And I don't think there's no other game out there that can compete with this game and the accomplishments that it's done within the past year. Some have tried. But in my opinion, they haven't put forth the effort nor the hard work. I'm not taking away from what they've done. But I will say this. A team like this, a small team, putting out great material and expanding and building on quality and listening to their audience is a game worth playing and worth putting time into. Well, as you guys know, this is Joshua Timing. As always, he got first, and I'll see you in Warframe. I'm out. Peace.